Hey, this is Jonah. I wanted to make a little video on my uh, geothermal project that I've got finished going on. my last trench for my line that I'm bearing that I'm using with my geothermal system. And there's about 600 feet of line here. I'll show you the line. It looks like a big mess right now, but it really uncoils very nicely. Uh, we made these uh, it took us about an hour to make one, 45 minutes, something like that. But it's a uh, high quality line, um, three quarter inch. An amazing job digging this trench. And uh, here's the here's the trench. Got it pretty straight. Um, it's sloping downhill with the terrain and as you can see we're getting a lot of water coming in there but there's my six foot step ladder and uh, there's a good two feet above that so we're down pretty far. Looking anyway, pretty good. Yeah, there's three lines. Uh, this is a three ton unit that I'm putting in and I uh, bought all the equipment from bought all the equipment from Ingram's Water and Air and they've been really good to work with and uh, really happy with their uh, their quality products and uh, quick speedy shipping they were pretty good so I'd recommend them to, to anyone there but uh, here's here's what I've got it's trench is about 65 to 70 70 feet long and then I've got three other or two other trenches, three trenches total, but there was one here and then where this pipe sticking up was the last one on the end here and um, that's a 10 foot piece of pipe sticking down in the ground looks like about three feet showing but I put that there so I could uh, check the water temperature um, just for fun and kinda know where the end of my field is at um, here so run up here and take a look at the, what I call the header trench um, as you can see this has already been filled in but uh, this up here I haven't filled yet um, hey it's Jonah again yeah I'm uh, just now back filling my trench I've got my pipe laid in and I'm gonna carefully go along and just scoop a little bit at a time back filling on this trench here don't want to damage the pipe I have pretty good dirt not much rock in it but uh, anyway all for now all right here we are purging the system pump set up water should be coming through any moment now could be a big mess might have to drop the camcorder and run. There it is. Purge all that air out. That's what we want. Purging our system. One last time here. Got the antifreeze solution in. And we're pumping. So the, the pink line is going to turn to a, a mixture here in a little bit uh, as the antifreeze solution mixes in with the water there. We'll let it run for half an hour or so, but um, overall it seems to be working pretty good. There it's starting to mix a little more. So yeehaw, it's coming Jim, together. I want to give a quick update on our geothermal climate master here. Got it up and running. We've had it running for about uh, about a week now, and uh, we've had some some cooler weather here of late, uh, getting close to mid December, and uh, it's 21 degrees outside right now, and the wind is howling and it's fierce weather outside. But uh, got about six inches of snow on the ground, but system seems to be working just fine. Um, 
kind of show you some numbers here. We've got uh, uh, 97.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, uh, air coming out of the unit. And then uh, it's a balmy 71 degrees in here at the moment. You can see it's 21 degrees outside, so kind of cool. Um, check the water temperatures here. Um, let's see, about, uh, about 50.5, 50 degrees, and 47, 47.3 there, 46.9, so uh, those are some water temperatures there. Uh, got a pressure gauge, the water coming in. Bouncing around a little bit, about 15 psi or so. Um, we've got the unit set up with a 5 psi drop. That's about what it should be. Um, the water pressure coming in versus the water pressure going out. And then open up the unit here. And she's just humming away in there. working out just right. Um, eventually I do want to add a soft start, soft stop uh, unit to this. Um, but that's, that'll come at a later date. Um, and I also want to try hooking up the hot water generator as well. I don't have that hooked up yet. So a few more things to work on. Um, I need to add some more duct work. Uh, down the line, um, get some more airflow through the house to some of the other rooms. Um, but, um, I will say it works and it's working well, so I'm really thrilled and happy. So uh, I will say that insulating your home is, is very important. Um, having thermal pane windows, thermal pane doors, uh, closing off any air gaps, all of these things are very important. energy efficient here so anyway it's worked out well and I uh, just want to say thanks again to Ingram's Water and Air for uh, their support uh, their, their tech staff is, is really good and uh, they've answered a lot of my questions and uh, been happy with their uh, with their business there so uh, anyway all for now take care God bless